don't think very many kids will be getting these ones, will they? And inside it is... I'm allowed to open it. It's not bad luck, is it? So no, no, you go for it. Go for so if one. you open it, it's got... Um, Lovely pictures of the angels. Like angels yeah. and scripture and the story of uh, baby Jesus. Like, Years ago, my mum gave the boys these when they were little and Jack opened the first one he said, Daddy, I said, what? I think it's broken. There's nothing in it. <laughs> Someone stole a yeah, chocolate. Yeah, because my mum thought they can have a traditional one. You know, you can have more than just chocolate these days. There's all sorts, isn't there? We've got some examples. Shall I go and show you? Yes. Yeah. OK. This is your audition for that bit on This Morning, where they do this. <laughs> oh, okay. OK. I'm thinking QVC. I hope you've right. had a manicure. Listen, there is thousands of pounds worth of kit here, and we'll start with the cheapest. This is the VTEC calendar. This is £25. Plenty of plastic for Christmas inside there. <laughs> uh, this here is from the body shop. It's about £65. Pounds, 65 full of quid, OK. Nice things to spread all over, make you look pretty, Ben. Yeah, uh, Joe loves this one here. This is £300. It culminates in a candle that smells of... Christmas trees. If nice. You a Christmas tree. <laughs> I love that. Uh, in the, this briefcase. That's not an advent calendar. Thousand pounds worth of whiskey. Uh, oh. That is twenty-five different bottles to sip. How every much did you say day. that was? Ten thousand pounds. Now this one here, I'm told, I'm allowed to open. That's two hundred and fifty pounds. Wow. Well, you better drink a it. We then. jam. It's 6.13 Alex, in the morning, I tell, you, I tell you what, that is probably coffee. the That'll most be, yeah. delicious much I've ever had. <laughs> but probably <laughs> the most expensive too. And this is the crowning glory of our advent calendar a compilation here this morning. A £100,000 box full of diamonds and jewels. Oh £2,900 worth of gems here on the 18th. It what's, in the, what's, what's the big one? Well, it's culminates in this ring, and this ring is... A, I'm going to have to look because I'm just shocked by this. Twenty-six thousand oh, yeah. pounds diamond ring, and there is a security guard watching my every move. Can we have a look so at that it? one oh, can't slip just it. into hold on, my hold it still it. It oh, can't goodness. slip into my pocket as we oh, go. Oh my goodness! Mrs. Gatesford's going to be thrilled. I was going to say it. she's going to get some ideas from this this morning. It ain't if that's the advent calendar on December the first, then what on earth do you get someone for actual Christmas? Oh, you think you need more? But then... That's so typical. <laughs> right. This is, well, this is just the advent Christmas calendar. Christmas Day looks like it's going to be a great Apparently day. Apparently, with that advent calendar, the one that's oh. £100,000, you save £23,000. Oh, by getting them if all... If you bought all the things uh, individually... It Martin could Lewis easier. would be well impressed with that. He yeah. would, yeah. It's the true I mean, meaning of Christmas. But the question, I suppose, is this morning is, you know, with the... You know, we talk about the obesity crisis and stuff. Should we be encouraging kids to have chocolate every single day? First thing in the morning. First thing in the morning. Or should advent December. calendars go back to how they were? Go through the traditional the ones. The old school. And, and actually tell them the, the story spirit. and all, like, have inspirational quotes or something that's I, positive. You know when, I, when I was a kid, I never had a chocolate advent calendar. We always had the traditional Did original you? one. You yeah. always had the traditional box of diamonds. Mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. What, about, what, what about your son? What does he get? Does he get a...? He, he's actually already... We've already got him a... Yeah, a, a chocolate, chocolate one. Chocolate one. There you go, yes. you've succumbed. Yes. I know. Well, we've got Amy Charles here with us. He says she won't be stopping giving her kids chocolate advent calendars. And uh, Nikki, who believes it is actually time to put away the daily sweet treats. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, I'm, yeah. 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 Oh, I'm yeah. screaming for the day. Yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Nick, what are you thinking of? There was a time when these were very exciting yeah. because you're getting something very straightforward, very basic with the spirit of Christmas. But the time's moved on, Nick, surely. Yes. Listen, time has moved on, but I do still think this is really nice and traditional. Like you said, Ranveer, what do you do on the 25th? The expectation from everybody is they want something bigger and better. I'm over with the chocolate stuff. The reason why I have a bit of an issue with that is is giving your children a chocolate in the morning. And it's not just but one it's chocolate. Christmas. Yeah, but it's not just one chocolate. You'll also get one from your granny, you'll get one from your auntie, and it's actually probably five chocolate buttons you'll get every day. Right. I've had I've had advent calendars, chocolate since I was a baby, uh -huh. three three years of age. I'm not, ob I'm not obese. No, know. I know you're not, but I so... think there's an epidemic at the moment of people who are becoming addicted to the different sugars. Mm. Also, the chocolate isn't as good as it was in our day. Oh, my God. <laughs> 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 so, Amy, you're, you're, are you concerned about the idea that kids get treats, they get uh, advent calendars but... that are escalating in cost and value? But listen, but I'm just saying... I've got two children and they wake up... I'm, I'm very Christmassy, I'm very Mrs Christmas, love Christmas. They wake up in the morning... Every day's Christmas uh, with you, Amy. Isn't no, it's, <laughs> but it's not. But I think, OK, every day, 365 days a year, that's fine. But if you're literally having it for 25 days, a little bit of chocolate in the morning... 25 I, days equates to around about four or five actual bars of chocolate I don't in a know, month. But I'm, not, I'm not saying that I do that, but I'm just saying, in the morning, a little chocolate is absolutely fine.
<laughs> do you are you is it are you see your point, Nick, that we're giving children mixed messages? Yes, in the sense that all year yeah. round you say, listen, be careful, be careful, be careful, and all of a sudden at Christmas, well, for the whole month yeah. of December, you can just have, have this we're chocolate first thing in the morning. You know what? For the whole of the, yeah, for the whole of a year, actually watch what you're eating. We've got to eat healthy, you eat healthy at school, etc. Oh, but for this month, sugar every single morning. I keep promising my son he's gonna get a broccoli advent calendar. Oh, that's a good idea. <laughs> that's be good. There's one Your lady who does it instead of, every morning. instead of chocolate, she gives a book to her child every day. And I think that's a really they're, nice... They're 25 books, books but they, as a, but as a kid's worth of books. But listen, <laughs> they go, but the thing is, though, they go to school, they're, like, reading and it's boring. But like, don't, this, in our but day, this boring. Is Reading's not necessarily no, boring. It's not, it's not boring. boring. <laughs> no, I'm, saying, but I'm not saying it's boring, Amy, but, like, every single day, you know, obviously going to school, yeah. there's so much pressure nowadays. But, so yes, but I was excited days, just to see a picture behind a cardboard, a piece of cardboard with glitter on it. Yes. I think kids could still be like that. Don't look at me, I've got a grey goose up. Have, is that finished already? Do you have, it's <laughs> finished already, Nick. Yeah, every but morning there's a little bit of liquid. You've got godchildren, though. Yes. And, and, and do you, are you concerned with yourself? Do you worry about it? Or would you want them to have... Have you given... I think you gave them the Lego advent calendar? I did. I, yeah, I did. Yeah, they, they, they love all that sort of caper. We have, we have a Lego set, actually, that we have never, ever opened that we give to each other every year back and <laughs> forth. And it's a nativity scene, if you like, or Aww. a Christmas Wonderland scene. Aww. So that's our running gag. But in the it's fan. an interesting thing about giving... You know, there's one over there, wasn't there? The one with all the toys in it. Yeah. But talking about climate change stuff, should we be giving loads of bits of plastic? Cos, I mean, which one's worse? Absolutely. Loads of bits of chocolate or loads of bits of plastic? And also loads of bits of alcohol. I mean, you have one that's to fine. wine... To be fair, let's actually, not go there. there. I'm a but 25 two. days of wine is, you know... <laughs> I'm a mama too. I need my alcohol. I don't I'm mind that one too. either. It's I mean, lots of people uh, getting in touch, joining yes. us, saying, ban chocolate, advent calendars, replace them with what? Kale, avocado, teddy? <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> Let kids you. be kids. Uh, Robert says, I would have had a chocolate advent calendar. It was a lovely build-up to Christmas, so the true meaning of Christmas is never far from my mind. There is a sense of that as well, though, Amy. I'm with you a little bit. Yeah, that, totally. that It just builds the excitement, and actually, you're talking about Christmas oh. when you're opening the advent calendar. But I am Mrs Christmas. Though, so I'm like, I literally bought my advent calendar for five weeks ago. So I've got two children, so I've literally, yeah. Oh my You've been goodness. planning. Where was it? Nick's literally. house? Oh, I in mean, my house, there's nothing. There is nothing. <laughs> <laughs> there's nothing. <laughs> there's nothing. <laughs> there's nothing. How boring. I'm joking, oh, of course. There is. Say, is it true? How <laughs> No, I'm putting it up next week. This weekend. Yeah. This weekend. We can all agree on that next bit. Week. Do you know, I met, some, I met someone a few weeks ago who has an advent calendar called Advent of Change, which is an extraordinary advent calendar where you purchase the advent calendar and the money goes to charity. It's not for profit it's or a good idea. So every day you open a different door and a donation has been made to a different charity. That's a great idea. Which is a lovely idea yeah. for That's your kids. The one. The advent yeah. of Change was. Uh, and, and I was really blown away by what they've managed to do. And suddenly I thought, well, maybe I shouldn't have my pork scratchings advent calendar after all. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that one in the garage last night. I could not believe someone would have pork scratchings 25 days in a row. <laughs> well, you don't. What you do is you go to a Christmas party, then you eat them all when you get home. Is that had a few drinks? Pork scratchings <laughs> <and> whiskey <laughs> for breakfast. Probably rather have a whole of this ever. Thank you both. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.